What's going on you guys? It's your boy Redstone Nyanx here and welcome back to another command block tutorial video. Now today, I'm going to show you guys how to do enchantment commands in Minecraft. And and let me ask you this. Are you tired are you sometimes tired of like always having to use your enchantment table and Anvil to enchant your weapons when you have to go all the way into the mines and fight mobs 24-7 to get XP to level up or find enchanting books to do that? Well, not anymore. Now we're going to come over to these command blocks and I'm going to show you how it works. So when I push this button with my sword, it implies the enchantment. In this case, it's sharpness, unbreaking, fire aspect, and knockback. Just like that, and it only takes a few seconds. Well, for doing it in survival, it takes like a couple of days, or could be weeks. You never know. Hold on, let me t time set day. Now, before we get into this video, guys, as always, make sure you guys hit the like button and subscribe. And turn on notifications so you won't miss a video. Apart from that, guys, let's begin today's video. Okay, guys, so what I have over here is how to enchant weapons, tools, and armor. So, first off, we're gonna take our diamond sword, and we're gonna put in the following. So watch carefully. Slash enchant nearest player Minecraft colon sharpness, and then we'll put five. And, get, and keep in mind, guys, because there are some specific enchantments that only have are maxed out in a very low number which in this case on breaking its max enchantment is three so yeah just make sure you keep a close eye on that because if you put a number that is higher than the max then it won't work so keep that in mind so and when we press the button it we employ get sharpness on the sword and let me do weather clear That. And now we're going to do the same thing with our tools. So we're going to do slash enchant nearest player Minecraft efficiency 5. And put these on all the tools. And boom, just like that. And again, these enchantments could be pretty useful for like, for example, when you when we get some diamond ore. And also, let's put a different enchantment on this, which we'll put Fortune 3. And let's apply this to all of our stuff, but we're going to use the pickaxe for the demonstration. So let me hop into game mode survival, and watch what happens when we have Effective C 5 and Fortune 3. So when we mine the diamonds, it actually mines a lot quicker, and you actually get a lot more diamonds from each ore. So that's the good thing about having Fortune 1, because you get more than one diamond each time you mine an ore. So yeah, that could be pretty useful when you're mining. So let's put that away. And now, lastly, we're going to enchant this armor. So let's take it off its armor stand like this, and hop back into creative mode. And we're going to do the same thing. Enchant nearest player Minecraft protection and we're gonna put four and click 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 and click and boom we get enchanted diamond armor with protection four just like that and yeah that is pretty much how you do enchantment commands in Minecraft. And keep in mind that some enchantments will work with specific tools. Like with effect efficiency will work with tools and sharpness will work with swords. And I think axes work also. But just make sure you keep that in mind. There are some enchantments that may not work with the right tool. And that is going to wrap up for today's video. 
If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more command block tutorials like this, make sure you guys hit the like button and subscribe. And turn on notifications so you won't miss a video. Apart from that guys, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.